Thirty years ago, young protesters in China had gathered in Tiananmen Square in Beijing. They were demanding greater freedom. They wanted individual rights like those granted to people in the West. What they got in return was bullets. The Chinese government chose to respond to the protest by sending troops and tanks. Thousands were killed and injured in what came to be known as the Tiananmen Massacre, one of the worst blots on Chinese history. Here's the story of that fateful day. A lone man confronting Chinese tanks became the defining image of China's Tiananmen Square protests. Thirty years ago, on June 4, 1989, the Tiananmen Square and its neighborhood in Beijing saw the massacre of 2,000 to 3,000 people at the hands of Chinese government. The death of Hu Yabang on 15 April 1989 set the stage for mass demonstrations. Hu, a former communist leader, had worked hard for democratic reforms in China. The protests that lasted for few weeks saw thousands of protesters, mostly university students, demanding democracy, personal freedom and probe into corruption by ministers and top communist officials. The protests became China's greatest political upheaval since the end of the Cultural Revolution more than a decade earlier. The initial response of the government was to issue stern warnings to the protesters and it took no action against the mounting crowds. The media coverage of the event was increasing as a large number of Western journalists had gathered in Beijing to report on the incident. During the last two weeks of May, martial law was declared in Beijing and army troops were stationed around the city. However, any attempt by the troops to reach the Tiananmen Square was thwarted when the citizens flooded the streets and blocked their way. But by the beginning of June, the government fearing anarchy decided to crush the protests with a heavy hand. On the night of June 3rd and 4th, the People's Liberation Army's tanks and heavily armed troops advanced towards the Tiananmen Square. The soldiers opened fire at the protesters. The tanks mowed down the protesters who tried to block their way. Though the government never released the death toll of the crackdown, it is estimated that over 2,000 people were killed. Those who survived were arrested. Many of them received prison sentences of varying lengths of time. A lot of them were executed. The Chinese government denounced the demonstrations as a counter-revolutionary movement and the flurry of arrests and executions frightened many demonstrators into silence. But the world that saw the horror of the Chinese government's act did not keep quiet. China faced global condemnation for the murder of innocent people. But the events of that day were quickly forgotten. Thirty years on, there is nothing in the Var Square to remind anybody of what happened here. Not a monument, a statue or even a tiny block. The Chinese government never expressed regret over the killings and rejected all calls for an investigation. The protests, first labeled as counter-revolutionary riot, are now merely referred as political turmoil if there are any references to it. In the years since the incident, the government has suppressed any references to the event. Public commemoration of the event is officially banned. It appears as though the events of June 4, 1989 have been erased from the Chinese history. Bureau report. Beyond World is One.